You're listening to Interactive Wrestling Radio, featuring the interactive interview, courtesy of WrestlingEpicenter.com. Welcome back to Interactive Wrestling Radio. Joining us on the Newsmaker Line is the reigning and defending NWA Women's Champion. She is Kenzie Page. Are you with me, ma'am? Yes, I'm here. It's such a pleasure to have you on the show. Um, I got to tell you, the last NWA Women's Champion we had was the last NWA Women's Champion who held that title forever, it seemed. Uh, And then, of course, you dethroned her at NWA 75. How cool is it to be introduced as the NWA Women's World Champion? Uh, It is a dream come true. Obviously, this is something that people, you know, go their whole lives working for. And to say at 21, I have succeeded and successfully a world champion. It means a lot. And like you said, I dethroned Camille after 813 dominant days. So, yeah, I feel like a champion. Absolutely. You make me feel 100 years old. I've got children older than than you. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Let's talk a little bit about beating beating the brick house, Camille, who held that title for so long. What kind of a challenger was she? And do you see her as somebody who's going to be possibly somebody who's going to be trying to get her belt back in the future? Well, she refers to herself as the one time, so I'm hoping, I'm just going to keep leaning on that, you know, you had your one time, honey. But, um, no, but honestly, in all retrospect, she is a great competitor. She is tough. Obviously, like y'all saw, she's dominant. You don't hold something 813 days, you know, Mm -hmm. unless you're dominant. And she is, um, Camille, you know, her name and her presence carries a lot of respect, so to beat her... And to say that I'm the woman who dethroned Camille sends me into a whole new world of momentum and, you know, a new level up shift. So, yeah, working with Camille and beating Camille was two momentum changing things that happened in my life. Absolutely. And I've been spending a good portion of my morning watching prior interviews that you've done to make sure I bone up on everything. And something that you said that that really piqued my interest is that you got trained for professional wrestling at the age of 14 and a question that i kind of immediately came to mind and it's a question i ask a lot of guests is what made you decide that pro wrestling was the thing for you at such a young age uh so my dad is actually an independent wrestling promoter so my Ah. dad and my uncle yeah my dad and my uncle run a show and so my whole family has been a part of it whenever i was younger i had cousins that wrestled you know it was the whole big family thing so from a very young age, it's just always been a part of my life. And I saw how much, you know, they loved it. My dad loved it. And I was like, this is such a genuine love for something that like, it, yeah, it gives and it takes. But man, when it gives, you know what I mean? It's just such a payoff. And I just fell in love at a young age, you know, and I was introduced to independent wrestling before I was really anything else. So mm-hmm. I feel like. Everything just kind of fell into place for me. But, yeah, I've loved it ever since I was little. Um, so that's how I actually got trained at 14 because not many places will yeah. train a 14-year-old. So, You're right. I think there's no laws against <laughs> against that in some places, as a matter of fact. But yeah. that's amazing that you, uh, you know, going into, going into probably, what, junior high, maybe high school, and, and you're already yeah. a training as a wrestler. That's amazing. Yeah, so my eighth grade year, uh, going into my freshman year, I started wrestling. I remember some of my school would come to my shows. Um, yeah, it was it was crazy, but yeah. You I mentioned. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was saying yeah. That's when I started when I was fourteen. That's amazing. Um, you mentioned falling in love with indie wrestling and independent wrestling, and of course, independent wrestling now is arguably more popular than it's ever been. I grew up on the Northeast myself. I. It wasn't a weekend that went by that there wasn't a local indie show that you could go to up in New Jersey and New York. But uh, indie wrestling now with GCW and uh, a lot of other promotions, it's booming in a way that it's never boomed before. What's your thoughts on on how indie wrestling and wrestling that's not just the big two promotions is doing so well? I mean, I love it. Every time I see GCW run a show, it's always successful. It's always fun. People are always having a good time. And it's like, what more could you ask for? Like, these people are getting to do what they want to do, and they're entertaining people, and everyone's having a great time. Like, that sounds like fun to me, you know what I mean? 
so the more they thrive. And it's like more independent wrestlers get seen. You know what I mean? And it's, we don't have to, not everyone has to make it to, you know, you know, the, the big leagues to, you know, get seen and get recognized. If you're on GCW, that means something, you know? So I, I love that. I love seeing that. And there's a lot of indie promotions like that. There's a lot of good promotions of like, you can get coverage from being on this show. You can get seen from being on this show. And I think that that helps wrestling as a whole. So it's very, like, heartwarming, and it makes me happy to see that. All right. Now, you are, of course, a big part of the NWA, the NWA Women's Champion, and that is run by Billy Corgan. Got a couple questions about Billy, if you don't mind. Uh, first, what is it like having a bona fide rock star as a boss? I think that when it comes to, like, him and his coworkers, I, me personally, I can only speak for myself. I don't get, like, obviously he's a bona fide rock star. I love the Smashing Pumpkins. I have a pumpkin tattoo on my hand, but, or on my <laughs> arm. But, uh, I, I don't even get that vibe. I feel like it's a genuine, he's there for me. You know what I mean? At NWA, he's not there for himself. He's, he's there for us. He's there to, talk about what we what we need to do what we want to do what what's gonna what's gonna get us to what we want to accomplish tonight so it's cool to know that he's a rock star but every time we're at nwa he doesn't give off that vibe to me he's there for us so it's refreshing but it's also like cool to know in the back of my head i'm like yeah the smashing pumpkins rock star is my boss <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing and something that the nwa talent always says is that there's such a great support system behind the scenes of veterans who have been there and done that and, and know how to impass their information to the younger talent. Um, is there anybody backstage like Medusa or anything like that, that jumps out at you as a mentor that, that you go to for advice a lot? Besides uh, Dr. Tom, cause he's obviously backstage and he's my trainer. So I would go to him. Uh, besides mm -hmm. him, I would say Miss Jazz. Jazz has been the biggest oh, influence. Wow in shaping me as a person um, and not just a wrestler, but as a person and how I want to be presented and how to be more like, you know, a superstar. She's really helped me in that aspect of, you know, creating who Kinsey Page is. So yeah, Miss Jazz definitely jumps out as the number one person who's helped me level up the most. All right. Um, so you're the leader of Pretty Empowered it's kind of like a, a mean girls group in a way. Um, you just kicked out Roxy the other day. What is your, how do you enjoy being the leader of, of a, uh, of your own stable of sorts? I love it. And I love that. It's like, not even like a leadership, like oh, I'm in charge. Listen to me. It's just like all the girl, we all agree on one thing and I'm the one that presents it. You know what I mean? Like we all agree on an idea and I'm going to act on it. Like, I'm, they're going to follow me into the flames almost, you know what I mean? Like, they're going to back me no matter what. Um, and I think that it's great to have my little sister a part of that, but also my best friend a part of that. Um, so this isn't just like an on-screen thing. In real life, Pretty Empowered is what you see. Like, we are best friends. We are silly. We are petty. We are, you know, funny. Um, that's us. And I think that it puts us all in a great light because we get to have fun and do just be us. You know what I mean? So... It's yep. great. I feel like it's put me in a very good predicament. All right. It's been a couple of years since uh, the NWA did their Empowered event, which kind of comes to mind whenever I hear the name of the, of the stable. Are you thinking that there might ever be another all-women's pay-per-view special from the NWA? I mean, I would always push for that. I really hope that there's another one. Um, not only because not only because I want to share the locker room with the amazing women and the talent and just keep showcasing more women, but because it's pretty empowered story. Uh, I was only on pre-show for the first one. Ella mm -hmm. and Kylie weren't a part of it. So I feel like it's really a statement if they brought it back and pretty empowered with us being on the forefront like we are. I feel like that would be our own little success story. So I would awesome. absolutely love to have that. Absolutely. And I mentioned there would be a couple questions about Billy Corgan. Um, mm -hmm. So Billy has been making some headlines, maybe even before any official announcement has been made. And that is that there is a good chance, sounds like maybe even a confirmed chance, that the NWA is going to be signing with a top 10 TV network. And that would, of course, 
make availability for the NWA into more homes, into just more eyeballs on the product. Uh, what is your thoughts on the idea that you guys could be signing with somebody as big as a CW network? Um, I think that it's a very great opportunity, not just for me and Pretty Empowered, but for everyone who has worked so hard to bring NWA back up. You know, uh, I think that it's a big payoff for all of us. But I, I think we're all ready to, you know, shift into the next gear, you know, keep leveling up. Like, we're going to go, if hypothetically we go on TV, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, but we're going to do it even more. Pretty Empowered is going to step it up even more. We're going to get even pettier. You know, NWA is just going to keep putting out the best that we can put out. And I feel like everyone has worked so hard thus far that we're not going to, we didn't come this far just to come this far. You know what I mean? So now if we get this, we're only going to keep, you know, proving and leveling up in our own ways. All right. And coming in just a couple of days now, your challenger will be Ruthie J. As you guys go on pay-per-view, you're going to be on fight pay-per-view. Uh, it is going to be Salween. I hope I'm saying that right. Salween. Salween. Uh, it's hard to say, but good <laughs> match for you on the, on the pay-per-view. What's your thoughts on facing the multi-talented Ruthie J.? I think that Ruthie J is a great competitor. I think she's beautiful. She has everything, you know, that is needed to be a successful wrestler. But that's just to be a successful wrestler. You can be a five-star athlete, but I'm a champion. I'm a world champion, the first ever triple crown champion. You're not going to embarrass me on my first pay-per-view as the first ever triple crown champion. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of eyes on me in this pay-per-view. And Ruthie's not going to mess that up for me. So right. that's what I have to say to Ruthie. All right. Now, somebody who is so young and already has accomplished so much, is there any goals that you have in mind for yourself? Any future goals? I'm not going to give you the five-year plan question, but any kind <laughs> of goal that you have in mind of what you definitely want to accomplish in pro wrestling? I just want to keep Pretty Empowered on the forefront of a positive shift into the pretty era of NWA. That is my main goal right now. I want anyone who tunes into NWA to say that they're watching it for Pretty Empowered. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a big thing to say, you know, in itself. And for us to be so young, I want us to stay on the forefront. So that's one of my main goals right now. Outside of wrestling in general, I want to continue to be mentally and physically healthy and happy. Um, so those are my goals right now. I'm going to keep it short and simple for you. Those are, I want to keep Pretty Empowered on top. I want to keep Pretty Empowered as the face of NWA, and that's our goal. I love it. Well, NWA Salwin, it's going to be happening on October 28th. You can find out more information at the NWA's official website, and we'll link to it as well. I wish you the best of luck in your match. And before I let you go, do you mind if I ask for one last favor from you? Go ahead. You probably know what it's going to be, but can I get a station ID from you? Just saying this, uh, uh, th th you're listening to the Wrestling Epicenter is what I was <laughs> going to say. Wrestling okay. Epicenter is the name. Okay. Kenzie right, Page, you and you're listening to the Wrestling Epicenter. Yes, ma'am. My name's Kenzie Page, the NWA World Women's Champion, and I'm listening to the Wrestling Epicenter. This is Interactive Wrestling Radio. 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 Oh, for us. Featuring the interactive interview. Interactive interview. Interactive interview. Interactive interview. Interactive interview. Interactive interview. Oh yeah. Formerly the Blaze. The blade, 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 the the Wrestling Epicenter would like to apologize for the following. All right, everybody. Hey. Hey. Arriba la raza. Arriba la raza. Hey, y'all. Hello, ladies. <laughs>
Hey guys, we had a lovely conversation. First lady, absolutely. Oh, look at me. She's so kooky. <laughs> Be there. Where else? Interactive wrestling. wrestling radio. Wrestling. Yeah, oh my God! You win! Wow, interactive. Whoa! Let's discuss the match. I was gonna shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. I almost missed my fan. <laughs> Breaking neck. I got two words for you. Yeah. I heard a lot about you guys. Yeah. Let's go. I see my language. You're gonna go over the shot. Plenty of notes. Into the many. No nerves. That was great. It's gonna be cool. Woo! What it's all about. The purest point of view. The living legend. Roger, hello. Champion. Arrogant. Arrogant. Oh. Instead of statement, I'm talking to you. Yeah. In the land of extreme. We were sexy. What a show. Interactive wrestling radio. Wrestling epicenter. Interactive interview. We took care of the business and ballet. We are huge. You're where it's at. You better recognize who's the best. Make sure you tune in each and every week. I'll come out of your computer. Knock down your door and turn it on for you. I'm going to kick your stick and take that. And that's the bottom line. Have a nice day. It's showtime. Don't forget to like and subscribe.